I am Nicholas McLean. Hello, I'm Air Quantabree. Hello, I'm Chris Poon. Hi, I'm Renee Lamb. Hello, my name is Sophia Wyatt. Hello, my name is Sam Tutty. Hi, I'm Tyrone Huntley. So I think I'd just woken up from a nap in my dressing room uh, and I was scrolling through Twitter, which is where I find out all the news, and I remember seeing the post from uh, the Society of London Theatre saying that all of the theatres were closing and I remember being absolutely heartbroken. I think more so than anything, just not knowing that my last show was going to be my last show. We have Mondays off in Be More Chill, which is the show I was in. And I decided to travel back up north to Liverpool to see my family because everything felt a bit scary. And we weren't sure what was gonna happen. My mum was desperate to get me home because she had a bad feeling about this and my God, was she right? So I came home thinking that, okay, Be More Chill will probably just be postponed for three weeks and we'll get back in. And alas, here we are a year later. I was on what must have felt like the last train anywhere from Paddington. I was just working at the Guildford School of Acting uh, beforehand and it was just crazy because um, everyone I saw at the station had the suitcases. I was in Thailand, I was on holiday with my boyfriend and it was four o'clock in the morning and my boyfriend got up to go to the toilet and he ch checked his phone and then he woke me up and I checked my phone. My industry, what I love so much, just closed. But at that time, I thought, oh, it'll only be for two, three weeks, that, that'll be it, and here we are. I was in my polo, with my cast on, getting ready to do the show. Um, and we had a big old announcement, and we all had to come down, and we were told. I was definitely at home, and I was so sure that this was only gonna last a month, maybe two months, if we were unlucky. Boy, was I wrong. Am I allowed to say the applause? <laughs> no, the thing that I've missed the most is the community. So it's not just about doing the show, it's about everyone that you come into contact with because of the shows. Physio, wigs, wardrobe, you know, the people that you see in prep when you go to get the ginger shot. It's so much more than just the three hours that you see on stage. I think mostly I've missed going to the theatre sitting in a seat, seeing artists be absolutely incredible, looking at the stage and thinking, well, how was this created, the design, the concept, that kind of thing, and just, you know, enjoying the art of it all. I've been very lucky to have been given the opportunity to perform in various different forms over the past 12 months. I appeared in Jesus Christ Superstar at Regent's Park Open Air Theatre, which was incredible. Live audiences, live theatre, nothing takes away from the beauty of live theatre, the adrenaline, the way it makes you feel, the way it makes the audience feel. I love performing and I also love sitting in the audience. That sort of anticipation that you have both when you're watching a show and when you're playing a show and I absolutely love playing Six. It's such a fun show all about girl power. I think what I miss most about theatre it's just a sense of collaboration, especially in musical theatre as well. It's about the creative teams, it's about the actors, the performers, the musicians, the backstage crew. Everyone just pitches in to make something amazing and tell a story. And I think although the industry has adapted incredibly well to go online, it just isn't quite the same as being in the room with someone. I've missed seeing my pals shine. I've missed being inspired by them. I've missed music, I've missed meeting fans, I've missed all of it. I think anyone who has put anything on in the last 12 months online deserves a massive congratulations and credit um, because it's not an easy task at all. I recently watched The Colour Purple with Tashan Williams and Daniel Fiamania and it was just it was just stunning. The Colour Purple is one of my favourite musicals ever and the fear when you do a stream is that will it correlate over screen, will you be able to to feel the way you would in a live theatre and my gosh did I feel, I cried, I cried at the happy bits, I cried at the sad bits, I cried for the whole thing. Just that I've shared joy and, and enjoyment for what I was watching but how proud of 
what we've achieved this year and how versatile the theatre community is that we can be malleable to any situation that is thrown at us. We are so resilient. So anyone that knows me knows that I'm the stagiest thing known to man. So I've basically watched everything I can get my hands on during the pandemic. Um, so uh, some of my highlights have been uh, the Turn Up concert uh, that Nicole Raquel Dennis and Ryan Carter put together, the Leave a Light on streams to uh, Songs for a New World, First Day, a little bit biased because I was in it, Brooklyn, and of course all of the stuff uh, supporting the new graduates as well. So everything that uh, Liam Gartland uh, is doing with the Grad Fest, um, Louis Rainu and Future Spotlight. Like there is so much incredible stuff happening friends gigs that they've been doing and I recently watched The Colour Purple with the glorious Carly Mercedes Dyer and my angel Randy Oshinowo and that was fantastic. Uh, Rent, um, which is wonderful with um, my good friend Alex Thomas Smith. I've seen Brooklyn, incredible, unbelievable. Um, uh, I saw uh, The Nationals Midsummer Night's Dream as well, that was amazing, that was ages ago. But I've seen a bunch, just to name a few, yeah. I've seen a couple, I'm staying engaged. working on this show which is absolutely incredible because we haven't played in shows in so long so i think everyone just put their heart and soul into it thing is about that night it was such a magical night there was something in the air because it became emotional and it got personal and i remember tearing up at some point as well it was just such a unique night oh gosh it wasn't even just the cast who were absolutely unbelievable it was everyone behind the scenes, James, Tom, Robin, and our amazing MD, Chris. It was all fantastic. We had so much fun. Our backstage area was crazy. Obviously we all had to socially distance, but we all, you could feel the energy. Like we all just wanted to be close to each other and we couldn't, unfortunately. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. Renee Lamb, I've been waiting to just stand on stage and just be in her presence with her for so long and it was just gorgeous. We've always said, when are we going to work together? Um, so it was just so nice to just be there and feel her energy and her incredible talent. And to get to meet people that I haven't met before, like Tyrone Huntley, Sam Tutting, Nicholas McLean, like all these people, like, I feel like I know you. And it was such a beautiful setting and it was so nice for me for the first time since I'd finished Rent that I got to perform live with other people. We had a, a gorgeous venue. We had Zoe on Life, we had Harry on Sound. We were very fortunate to also have a, a wonderful group of performers in Tyro and Nick, Renee, Sam and Maya, who came in and just blasted it out. And it was up to myself and my wonderful guitarist, Sophia, uh, to try and keep up. I had the best night singing and performing in West End Acoustic. It was just a great night. The atmosphere was, was, was just buzzing and you know, at that point it had been, for me, a few months since I'd been on stage, but for a lot of people it had been, you know, a long, long time since um, they'd been inside a theatre or, you know, anywhere near a stage. So there was just this really great buzz. Unbelievable. It was a, it was a spiritual journey. I, I transcended. Do you even know how talented, I mean, I'm not even talking about myself, how talented the people are? who are working on this. They are crazy talented. The singers, pianists, production team, they're wonderful, they're wonderful people. I think I speak for everyone that was involved in the show when I say that it was unlike anything else. Having gone so long without being in front of a live audience, we were all nervous and like, you know, your tummy is going, but the response from the audience was like nothing. I've ever experienced. It was just clear that everyone in the room, on stage, backstage, in the audience, was so excited to, to be experiencing live theatre again. And, and it's a testament to the fact that it is such a loved art form. 